I'm Katie Fehrenbacher with GigaOM TV, and today we're going to ride Brammo's Inertia. It's an all-electric motorcycle with a top speed of 60 to 70 miles per hour and a range of 40 miles. We're going to go take it for a spin. All right, so I think this might be a good bike for me because it's for beginners. It's got no gear and no clutch, right? Definitely, definitely. It's actually one of the markets that we've been looking for is the new beginner rider. Just because it doesn't have any clutch, a lot of people get scared with the shifting and the clutch if you don't drive a standard of anything else. Uh, with it just be twist and go, it's very much like uh, riding a scooter, things like that. We always tell people if you can ride a bicycle, you can ride this. What about performance of the electric motorcycle versus the gas, like uh, torque, mm -hmm. um, acceleration, range, that kind yeah. of stuff? Obviously the range is gonna is not gonna be as big because we have the battery technology how it is right now. Um, the torque factor though on these, since it's an electric motor, is really big. Uh, right off the bat, we actually had to dial the torque factor back a little bit just so it doesn't pull people off the bike. Um, but I mean, as far as power, you get it right off the bat. What about safety in general? So the battery is actually more safe than some of the other lithium ion battery motorcycles out there, right? Well, I know that the company that makes the battery valence, they're a really good company. The batteries, they very much stick behind them and they actually have a 10 year warranty on the batteries um, themselves. So the lithium ion technology is just so safe. There's no, everybody asks if the bike's gonna light on fire just cause it's electric. There's no chance of that happening. So it's a very safe bike. And 10 years, how, how many hours is that? How many life cycles? Um, well, I know I, they're telling us between 70 and 80,000 miles the batteries should last for, which on our charging is about 2,000 cycles. So I'm on the bike, I wanna go, what do I need to do? All right, with this, there's a few steps that you have to take, mostly because of safety precautions, because if you're just sitting here and you accidentally romp on the throttle, then it can go out from under yeah. you. First step you got is just the normal key switch, which you just turn to on. Next thing is our tank switch here which you probably can't see it in the sunlight, but there's a little green flashing light here. Mm-hmm, I see it. Startup noise, dash comes on. This that was one. like a digital startup yeah, noise because yeah, exactly. it's completely <laughs> silent. So now, I mean, it's on right now, basically. So from this point, you have your normal kill switch like a normal motorcycle. So you just click that on, clicks, batteries are now live. So from here, you have a little few little messages on your dash. So one is kickstand down. So if you go ahead and kick the bike up, Pick the kickstand up, that message is Whoa. gonna go away. It's heavier than some of the other ones I've ridden. Yeah. How, how much does it weigh? It weighs 324 dead weight, so. Um, and then from here, obviously, the next message is headlight off. Okay. So, headlight, this is the on off switch for the headlight, so that goes all the way up. Little green flashing lights right here, and it says driving enabled. You're now ready to go. Much fun. Yeah, good. Oh right? my god. Yeah, awesome. it was so easy. No clutch, no gears. It was almost relaxing. All right, so I just rode around for about 20 minutes. I want to recharge the bike. How do I do it? Okay, it's very simple. Just basically take your ignition key here. There's a lock back here underneath the seat that locks the seat on. Unlock that. Pull out your charging cord that's attached. You can lock this seat right back on so that nobody takes your seat or unplugs it. Key goes back up into your ignition, into charging mode, which is this fun little key down here. Press your tank switch, and that's gonna pop back up. It's gonna show you that you are in charge mode, and then it's gonna say charging enabled. At that point, there's gonna be a message come up that says connect to AC power, just like that. At this point, you just plug it into the wall. Okay, so it says I'm 75% already charged. How mm -hmm. long does it take to charge it fully back up from there? You're looking about an hour on the charge time. And the reason for that is it's gonna be fully charged after probably about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. But that last 30 minutes, it's balancing the batteries out so that they're all completely level. What, what is the purpose of that? It just makes, makes sure that all the batteries, when they deplete, they deplete down the same rate, so one battery is not getting fully discharged. Okay. Um, and how long does it take to charge fully? So if I have no battery left, how long will it take? Yeah, if you have zero, around 0%, zero you're going to take about 4 hours on a full charge. Alright, Jennifer, thank you so much for letting me ride it. I had no such problem. a great time. Where can we buy one of these? You can buy these at Best Buy, 
but right now we're only in six stores on the West Coast. So if you're outside of the West Coast, the best the best bet is to go onto our website, bremo.com. Uh, you can customize it, get your own color, get a different seat if you want, and then they'll ship it to your closest Best Buy. Great, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem.